Hi, everyone. My name is Warren Dixon. I'm the Dean's Leadership Professor and Department Chair of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Broadly speaking, my research focuses on the control of autonomous and robotic systems. My research group is called the uh, uh, Nonlinear Control and Robotics Group, or NCR for short. The philosophy that we adhere to is that by including the complete knowledge of the physical phenomena in the control design and stability analysis, we'll yield the best results. But a lot of systems, most systems, contain nonlinear phenomena. So my students focus it on the use of nonlinear or Lyapunov based design and analysis tools to develop closed loop controllers. Because a lot of systems contain uncertainty, my students are also leaders or become leaders in adaptive control, and that includes pushing the frontiers in deep learning. Because many systems, such as networks of agents or systems with intermittent sensing or communication capabilities, as shown in this experiment between an unmanned air vehicle and sensorless unmanned ground vehicles, involve a mix of continuous dynamics and discrete events, we also study a class of nonlinear systems called hybrid dynamical systems. Students in my group all focus on the development of new mathematical tools, designs, and insights, but our work's inspired by applications, and we seek a balance between theoretical work and applications and demonstrations of the theoretical work. Because of the generality of our theoretical tools, my group is able to work on a broad spectrum of different application domains. One example is the human musculoskeletal system, where we apply learning and adaptive control and hybrid control methods to stimulate the skeletal muscles of people with movement impairments for rehabilitation. We've applied our tools on people with spinal cord injuries, traumatic brain injuries, stroke, people with Parkinson's disease, multiple sclerosis, muscular dystrophy, all to better understand how to develop personalized or adaptive rehabilitative treatments. We also do considerable work on general autonomy and robotic systems. Yes, sir. One of our facilities is an outdoor autonomy park, which includes many wheeled mobile robots, quadruped or dog-like robots, and small to large-scale unmanned air vehicles. Using this test bed, we investigate interactions among networks of robots, issues such as information intermittency, real-time deep learning, and autonomous operation where adversarial cyber effects are included. Because the robots are connected through advanced communication capabilities to a Starlink system, we can also do remote command and control. We also have an indoor laboratory with smaller unmanned air and ground vehicles guided by a motion capture system. I'm always looking for students who are dedicated to the development of new mathematical tools and uh, analysis methods. I'm also looking for students who are also interested in developing software or hardware demonstrations of those theoretical advancements. If you'd like to learn more about our research, please visit the MA website.